Hey, what is going on guys? I'm gonna show you how to screen mirror your Huawei, uh, P this is a P30 Pro, but it should be similar to the Huawei uh, P10, P20, and other various uh, Huawei phones, okay? Anyways, I'm gonna mirror this phone to my smart TV here. This is a Hisense uh, smart TV with the uh, Roku TV. Take note that this is gonna be a mirror cast connection, okay? It's a wireless screen mirror or wireless projection. And because it's a uh, mirror cast connection, in order for me to connect from the phone to the TV, it has nothing to do, the connection has nothing to do with the home Wi-Fi internet or anything. It's a Wi-Fi direct, not a home Wi-Fi internet connection, okay? However, we can go ahead and connect, uh, but once we connect, and if you want to use something on your phone, like browse the internet or go to Facebook or do a video call where everybody can see it on the big screen and it requires internet, then you would need to be hooked up to your home Wi-Fi network on your phone, or it can use your mobile data as well, okay? All right, so in order to connect, first thing is you have to make sure your, uh, your smart TV is on, and then go to your uh, Huawei phone here, and you wanna slide down notifications, and then you see our little horizontal line right there, slide down once more, and then you wanna look for something called wireless projection right here. Tap on that. And now it's uh, searching for devices. Oh wow, I found uh, my Hisense TV right away. Now take note, this is my first time connecting this phone to this TV, okay? And let me go ahead and, uh, and this, uh, this, this P30 Pro supports desktop mode as well as phone mode, okay? Uh, desktop mode will basically make the TV look like a, a computer screen. Phone mode, basically it'll mimic exactly what it looks like on my phone to the TV, okay? Anyways, let me tap on this right here. And the first time you connect, you will get some kind of message that should pop up down here once it connects. Give it one second. Okay, there's the message right there. It says, uh, Huawei P30 Pro would like to cache your video to TV. Just grab your uh, remote control and then just go ahead and uh, select OK. Let me focus in. Just select OK. And that's only the first time you connect to it. And then give it a second here for it to actually uh, connect here. Okay, looks like it's trying to go in desktop mode here. And I mean, like I said, this is the first time I'm... Okay, okay, so I'm in phone mode here. I mean, exactly how it looks on my phone is gonna um, show up on my, my TV here. However, if I scroll down notifications again, I can see, okay, so right now I'm in phone mode up here, but I have a desktop mode here too, so I can tap on desktop mode. And now it's basically gonna turn my uh, TV into like, um, an actual computer desktop, you know, and you, this is a mouse pad right here, and you can see the mouse. I can move it. You can see the mouse on the TV right there. I can go ahead and move it. Anyways, let's go back to the uh, other mode, which is the phone mode, so I can just scroll down again, and then I can tap on, if I want to go back to the uh, touchpad, I can tap on that to desktop mode, that, so I can use my mouse, or I can go to phone mode right there. Oops, let me tap on phone mode, okay. So we're in phone mode, so everything that I do on here, it's gonna look exactly like um, identical to the uh, my phone on the TV. We can go ahead and browse the internet here. And of course, if you wanna browse the internet, it requires uh, internet from your phone, so you can be hooked up to your home Wi-Fi network, or it can use your mobile data from your SIM card, okay? And what else should we do here? I'll go ahead and open up the camera. You can see what that looks like here. Here's the uh, camera here. Of course, we can go ahead and we can take a photo right here as well. And I'll show you uh, my gallery here. Most of you guys are here probably because you want to be able to show your photos and videos onto the big screen to your family and, and friends and whatnot. So let's, uh, let me click on here. Let me see, a uh, find a photo here. Okay, so for example, here's a, a video here, or not a video, but this is a photo here. And I can turn this into a landscape. Of course, I can. I can zoom in and out, as you can see. And we'll go ahead and here's a video right here. Now I want you to listen to this video, okay? Listen to the audio. Testing one two three. Testing one two three. Here's all my Samsung phones. Three. Okay. So in regards to the audio, the audio actually comes out from the TV doesn't come out from the phone, okay? But I can. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Here's all my Samsung phones. All my 
I can increase and decrease the volume from my phone. But again, the audio and everything will come out from the uh, actual TV itself. So there you guys go, pretty simple. Uh, if you guys want to disconnect, you just have to scroll back down, the notifications, oops. Just scroll down and then right here, it says uh, disconnect right here. Tap on that and you're uh, back in business. See you guys.